Good afternoon from the frozen tundra up north. Let's talk a little bit about the manosphere and the fallacy. This is on YouTube where every black man is a millionaire and he demands a slim woman, a model, who a virgin who will provide him with submission. While most of these guys are don't even own a home and living in a <laughs> live, living in a room with a mattress with no furniture. So let's be real. Let's chat a little bit about this. Black YouTube, where accountability, personal responsibility are rejected. The other guys to blame. I bear no fault in anything that's happening in the community. Welcome to Black YouTube. Welcome to the place where fat women ask broke men to level up and broke men ask fat women to lose weight. What a place. Welcome to the Pookie Jamal show, the Jamaican Canadian, Oxdale eating yard man, where possible curry gravy on the rice, rice and peas on Sunday. But guess what? His television is always stuck on CP24 and he says sorry at least twice per day. Welcome to the Pookie Jamal show. I once watched a video of, I think a lawyer, her name is Coco. And she had this, this is my popular video on um, TikTok. Black men are failing. And a lot of black men are doing some weird um, things, showing them scoring touchdowns, winning trophies and that. And, you know, just to dispute what she's saying. Now, I am not going to make fun of uh, Coco in any way, right? Her physical attributes has nothing to do with what she's saying. Do not go after the messenger. Look at the messenger and evaluate the message. You know what? A lot of black men are failing. And you have a lot of angry women who feel gaslighted when they're told to choose better. There are a lot of good black men out there. They feel gaslighted. And the truth is the math does the math ain't mathing. And let's be honest, the math ain't mathing. Only 23% of black men are upper middle class. And there are a lot of black men who are actually in the lower class. Look at these black communities. Like no one wants to live in a lot of these communities. They're decrepit. Look at Detroit. Look what happened to Detroit. Houses selling for $1,200, $850. Come on. That's when a, a community is brought down to nothing. So let's be honest, right? Black women have an honest grouse. And we got to understand that that honest girls, <clears throat> we can't gaslight our way out of it. And you can't have these mattress on the floor mandingos telling <clears throat> women that they need to lose weight and, and have a good attitude. These women are angry. But we need to do something about it. And what I've learned, because I've been on a few shows and um, a few Manosphere shows, been on Divestor shows and Manosphere shows, calling, you know, as a troll. And what I found was, is that no one wants to hear the truth. You go on a divestor show and you say to them, you're in anger mode, you're not moving towards leveling up. You're gonna be in anger mode for years. They, they hang up and they don't want to talk to you. You go on a Manosphere show and you said, hey, you know, women need to lose weight and they need to get rid of that bad attitude. Applause, amens, everyone is there with you. But you turn around to the guys and you say, you need to build something, you need to build your career, you need to improve yourself. You get thrown off the program. What that means is that no one wants to hear the truth. People prefer to live in their fantasies. And the easiest thing for them to do is bash someone. That's it. That's all they're doing. They're bashing each other. They keep bashing each other, thinking somehow that gives them brownie points. But while they're bashing each other, the community is crumbling. So it's time people to figure out that women need to level up men need to level up now i would say this a lot of men need to figure out that they have trauma a lot of trauma a lot of them have trauma i've heard it you know from you know mothers didn't take care of them that the way they should you know some of the mothers had men in and out of their some of those men were abusing those mothers and you had fathers who were absent their fathers were you know, completely absent now in those situations those guys have trauma serious trauma that they have to take care of. And if these guys don't take care of this trauma, what's going to happen is that they're going to carry that trauma into the next relationship. And many of them become baby fathers and, and absentee fathers and all of that stuff. And you have to break the cycle. And people need to understand that relationships are hard. Take it from me. I'm in a relationship for a marriage for 17 years and a relationship for 20. It's hard. It's ups and downs. You have to hold on and sometimes someone has to be the bigger person to have that maturity it takes a lot and people don't understand that 
They don't. They don't understand that for you to make something work like a relationship, a career, education, it requires sacrifice. It requires satisfy. It requires delayed gratification. It requires maturity. A lot of stuff that I'm not hearing on black YouTube. Thank you. That was just my rant for the day.